Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. Let me just start, first start off saying I want, want you to go back a year in your mind and think, you know, the Ottawa Senators are up for sale and Ryan Reynolds and Snoop Dogg are leading some of the investment groups that are bidding for this franchise and they could sell for over a billion dollars. My mind is blown. Uh, what will also blow your mind is the Ottawa Art Gallery and I was just talking about it like I might as well be the ambassador. I know we're getting a new night mayor perhaps and city council is talking about it right now. but. Uh, I say this because the Ottawa Art Gallery is just such a beautiful space and here to tell us more about it and a great event they have coming up. Lydia Branchard joins me. She is the Chief Development Officer. Welcome. Great Thank to have you. you here. Yes, thanks there. I've been selling the, uh, the Ottawa Art Gallery to our crew here, so now it's your turn. Tell us <laughs> a little bit about, about the gallery because, you know, what a great transformation this building and this space has gone through, right? Yes, exactly. So the, the fabulous news is this year we're actually celebrating our fifth anniversary in the new Ottawa Art Gallery building, which is that big cube building that you see as you're coming off Nicholas to downtown Ottawa it welcomes you to downtown mm -hmm. uh, and obviously we have five floors of exhibition space that we activate with different shows throughout the year and lots of amazing programming and of course we're a public gallery which means that you can come in anytime that we're open and it's free for everyone to attend and to participate in so how, how do you curate on on the art is it only local artists is it national do you bring in international artists yes we have so yes our our philosophy is representing the Ottawa region uh, right through an arts lens so they don't necessarily have to be still Ottawa based to this day but gotcha. to have formed their career in some point uh, in the art or in the Ottawa art landscape. So. I love it and the art scene here people again if, if, if you're not aware it is really a thriving art it scene is, it right? Really is. It's a beautiful gallery um, and you have an upcoming event as I said uh, give to get art auction it's been going on for many years tell me a little of the history behind it. Yes it's been going on for over 20 years now because obviously the Ottawa Art Gallery even before we were in this beautiful new building we actually had a, a space in the arts court next door. Yeah. Uh, so that's we've been around since the 80s, founded by the community. Uh, it was a bunch of local artists and city builders who came together to create this. And uh, the art auction is a is a forum for us to fundraise to be able to support everything that we do at the gallery. Since again, we're free, we're a charitable organization, and we offer all these amazing programs to the public. Uh, so the Give to Get Art Auction happens on May 18th this year, nice. uh, from 5:30 to 8:30 at the art, uh, at the Ottawa Art Gallery. And uh, it basically features this amazing online art auction featuring over 90 different local artists, okay. uh, various stages in their career, various mediums of art forms, things like that. Uh, and then, of course, at the event itself, there's so much that we're going to be offering and immersing you and the attendees in an arts experience all throughout the event. How do you choose the pieces? Like, what's the criteria? Yes, we actually have a running list throughout the, the years. We keep track of any artists who have expressed interests and, uh, and local artists artists that we've worked with at our current exhibitions, things like that. Uh, and we vet, basically, we try to just change it up every once in a while to make sure that different artists are represented every year. And again, trying to look at diversity, where they are in their career, right. different mediums. So that's kind of the judgment that we do throughout, you uh, have that throughout job. the year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and not me, because I would find, find it so difficult. Yes. But uh, you did bring a couple of pieces along yes. with you here. What do you want to, yeah. where do you want to start? Why don't sure. we start over here on, on the left? Sounds good, yeah. So this is a um, Sienna type print by Dion Prince, which is a, a kind of a unique art form in the sense that it's basically like a photograph, but without an actual camera. It's transfer okay. of light onto the paper direct, so it's very cool. Uh, Dion Prince is an emerging artist, so young emerging in their field. Nice. Uh, Haitian, Nigerian, Canadian artist, so again, just looking at the, the diversity, uh, and they focus on prints that represent uh, inclusion and, and self-identity and things like that. Very so, cool. Yeah. This one really caught my eye as soon as I walked yes. in. Just the colors, right? And it's <laughs> You got that three-dimensional look yes, to it as well. Exactly. Tell me about it. So this is by Russell Uristi, uh, a senior artist in Ottawa who has been represented or world-renowned. Uh, he has work in the National Gallery, all of that. Uh, and Russell often does mixed media on uh, on on canvas or on print. This is an actual mix of pap papier mâché and uh, watercolor okay. and all of that. And it's kind of playing a tongue-in-cheek reference of how Ottawa is looking at a fishbowl kind of city in the, in that sense. So that you've got your Parliament buildings yeah. surrounded by our fish. I love it, I love it. I love it. Uh, let's move over here. I'm going to actually hold this up sure. to camera. I'll get Stephanie on, on camera one there to, to yes. zoom in. Tell me about this artist. Sure, Amelia. So obviously jewelry is an art form as well. And this year we're actually really trying to highlight jewelry as an art form at the gallery, oh, nice. at the auction. Uh, we'll be doing a jewelry raffle in addition to obviously featuring some uh, jewelry in the auction. Um, so Amelia is a Métis artist and this is beadwork by uh, by her to, to create this beautiful jewelry as well. Beautifully so, done, yeah. beautifully done. Mm -hmm. And by the way, impressive that you remember. <laughs> 
remember all this information <laughs> about the artist. Yeah. Uh, tell me about this one here, because what I love about this piece is when I was far away, and you know, now that I look up, at, uh, you know, up close, what it's completely different. It's, it's so, amazing. Exactly. Right? The texture on this the is texture, incredible. The texture, the colors, yeah. It, this is actually a, a painting by Mar Margaret Chwilkowski. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Uh, but she's uh, again an Ottawa artist, and she. Uh, this is a painting of the Ottawa River. She was actually out uh, one day and was just looking out on the river, and the colors and the light on the river was what just captured her in that moment, and she wanted to translate that onto. Now that you mention her name, I think she's been on the show before. Yes, I wouldn't be because surprised. Because I, I believe I had trouble actually uh, pronouncing her yeah, last there you name. Go, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, how important is this? Is this to the actual Ottawa Art Gallery? This yes. particular event. It's uh, it's our largest fundraiser of the year, and so it is um, definitely a, a very big integral part of what we do. And of course, the fact that it gives us the forum to uh, represent so many artists by, by working with over 90 artists this year in the auction. It's giving a lot of emerging artists a platform to actually be exhibited in a gallery space. Um, it's helping um, the, art, the artists kind of spread their word about their work and educate the public about how much there is in the Ottawa Arts lens uh, for, for what there is out there. So, so yeah. obviously just important for the as important for the artists as yes. well. So how, how are the proceeds then split? Yes, yeah, so the, from the auction itself, we actually do every year it's a 50-50 split, so 50% of the proceeds from the sale goes back to the artist, and 50% supports the work that we're doing at the Ottawa okay, Art Gallery. Okay. Yeah. I know you like to do something new each and every year. What, what have you got planned this year? What's uh, new? Oh yes, because it is the fifth year anniversary of the building, we actually decided to bring out the theme of Paint the Town Pink, which is our OAG nice. pink color. Darn, I should have worn my pink. You gotta let <laughs> me know okay, these sorry. things. <laughs> uh, but so the concept this year is really bring, bring that brand back and playing with that pink theme throughout. People will come in different pinks and everything the food the beverage all of that is going to have a pink hue to it uh, getting really creative with that and then of course we want to bring back the immersive art experience as well that energy right. that we had when we opened our building five years ago um, so everywhere you look you will see live music on the terraces you'll see a live chocolate sculpture happening throughout the nice. event live action food stations uh, a live painting throughout the evening and even our learning engagement team offering sort of an interactive community mosaic art project that the attendees can contribute Fabulous. to throughout the evening. Um, I've got to ask you about yes. this. So what, what do we have here, my friend? Yes, so, so this is, as I was alluding to, our dessert station, which is uh, presented actually by Trinity Development Group this year. Okay. Um, this is Alina Olifranco, who just opened her shop, Alina Pastisserie on Sussex, so oh, just down excellent. the street from okay. the Ottawa Art Gallery. Uh, so she will be our celebrity dessert chef at the event, and she'll have all of these beautiful bonbons and macarons, pink desserts of all kinds that people can sample throughout the evening. Evening. And at the same time, she'll be doing a live chocolate sculpture. So she'll create so this beautiful cool. piece of work with the spring theme, lots of florals in ruby chocolate. Fantastic. So yeah. uh, tickets on sale now? Tickets are on sale now. Okay. You can go to oaggao.ca to purchase your tickets. It's $149 per ticket, or you can get a 10 pack if you have friends, family, colleagues you want to bring. Uh, so it's $1,400 for a 10 pack. Yeah. Lydia, thanks so much for being here. Thank really you. appreciate it again. Uh, oaggao.ca to get your tickets and it's all happening May 18th. I'll remind you again at the end of the show.